Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leaf and thank you guys so much for joining me once again here at We Finally Have a Name, the Foxborough Zoo. You know, I wanted to set this in Northeast, like the Northeast USA, and I figured Massachusetts would have been, you know, a nice quaint place for this. Uh, it's very close to home for me, and I figured Foxborough. I, it has fox in the name, and, you know, we already have foxes in here, if we can spot them quick enough before this joke dies out, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so here we are in Foxborough Zoo, and I've done a little bit of work on the entranceway. We have the music just blaring over there. Uh, we, oh yeah, that's right, we finally have the penguins in here, we haven't really seen them in action yet. I still need to update, like, all the signs everywhere just because, you know, these are still for the chin straps. But, you know, I'm, get I'm getting there. Uh, but yeah, we can see them. They are too loud, so I'm pausing the game. But, um, yeah, they just love their little place over here. I added a few things over here. I added a little jut out of the dock over here. So you could imagine, like, a nice little zookeeper just sitting here for a show. We have all the kids over there just like watching the penguin show. We could see them like throw fish from the bucket or something like that. I'm actually going to go into our lovely little Tejicam if I can find a nice little zookeeper. Terry, you are now Tejicam. And we're up here now. Shoot. Oh, Alright, this is already going really good, but I hope you guys can see what we're going to get into today, because we have a lot of stuff to cover. But yeah, I just want to go over what happened before, you know, have, uh, what I've kind of been working on in the background. But yeah, we can see all of our lovely little penguins just flowing around. I have it like, I really do love how this height turned out, and I did add some little vents in there. I have no idea why the game is doing this. I have no idea why it looks so crusty, I guess. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it, and actually, I'm going to up my graphics over here and put on FXAA, even though it's kind of killing my frame rate. But I just want to make it look good and crispy for all you guys, so I hope you guys can manage. But yeah, I just love how this little exhibit turned out. But um, yeah, we haven't really done much with guest services. I did. I still, oh my god, why is it doing this? Frontier, fix your game! But yeah, I added a little little bit of a poster over there to hark back to our old Binturong days. I do want to add the Binturong sometime soon, so that would be a really nice addition to have. But yeah, if we just continue on through here, we have the Children's Zoo coming up, so we can just walk through here, go past our little red foxes, uh, maybe we can see them really quickly. Just keep a nice little eye out. I'll probably miss them because I have eyes like a... what Whatever is the opposite of a hawk. I guess a mouse? I don't really know. But yeah, here we are. And I also have this little aviary. I'm not sure what's going to go in here. Probably like a raven or something. Uh, I definitely do want to help Nick out with getting some more like bird props in here. Because I feel like that'd be really fun. But anyways, here we are. So... For the children's zoo, I want to give it a little bit of a story. I want to have like a little bit of storytelling elements. I really want to have it like a certain pathway you need to go through. So I figured from farm to table would have been a really good... All the zookeepers are just running all over today. But um, yeah, from farm to table would be like such a really good idea for... I don't know, just storytelling, just showing off like... How your food gets made, how like all this stuff that you use in modern day kind of um, comes from farms and stuff like that. So I thought that'd be a perfect way to kind of bring in some international elements. And I have this little playground set. Thank you so much to Just Goron. Literally one of my favorite creators in the community. He does such amazing work with like every single thing that he does, especially with uh, the Beaks Bergen. So definitely do check that out if you haven't checked it out already. It's swell. So over here, I have a little bit of a planter. I want to have like the little globe over here. I forgot who made these. I will be putting like a little hall of fame or like hall of donators somewhere soon. Probably in like um like a nice big tropical house or something like that. Just have like a nice little plaza with all names and stuff. But yeah, I have this beautiful, beautiful tree with uh, the hawthorn bushes, I think. 
Yeah, I just love the texture on those. They look so nice. And if we just exit out of there, awesome. And so we have this little area over here. It is blocked off due to COVID. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to need to follow the arrows on the ground over here. And we will find ourselves all the way to Asia. I guess this is more of like a Vietnam kind of area. And so it's getting into sprouting seeds and domesticated breeds. And we have some stuff that I totally did not steal from Roger Williams. And yeah, we can find ourselves over to Asia. And we have a few like... Little signs over here. It's a uh, Laura Mipsum kind of. I gave it the Laura Mipsum treatment <laughs> just because I'm way too lazy to actually put in like real stuff over here. I think Haribo actually made these feeders. And so, obviously, like this is Children's Zoo. You can pay like five cents, get some feed, and you can walk up to our little animal friends over here. So, here we have the Asian water buffalo and these guys are badass. They're beautiful too. I mean look at those horns I just love how they like swoop like that But yeah, they're beautiful animals So you could give them your little feed from right here and he's taking a little nap up there. So that's cute And so we can walk over here We have sprouting seeds and we can look at how like the rice patties are made up there Like you know all the benefits of doing it in like terrace formation and I did sneak some little hidden flamingos in each and every exhibit going through here, so do keep an eye out for all those. And we actually do have a little bit of an intruder in here. So these guys actually did escape while I was building, and they found their way into like all these different exhibits. And I was like, you know what? This actually fits pretty well, so I just decided to throw a couple chickens in each and every exhibit. I felt like it would be like a cute little idea. So here we are. Let's actually go into some backstage over here. It's nothing crazy. The whole barn, I didn't even decorate the inside of here just because I'm a little lazy. And I don't really want to keep these open. I want to keep, like, all the animals out here. I feel like, you know, they would love to spend all their time out here. But nonetheless, we're heading into Mongolia. And thank you, Ricey, for these fonts. They are glorious. I like, I know we have, like, all these custom billboards and stuff like that. But you can't beat the custom fonts like they have so much style they have so much grace these fonts have a funny face um <laughs> so here we have some more feed dispensers i actually made these for s dan like so long ago i think it was about a year ago for pine creek when he was starting his little um petting zoo part over there and I was like, oh my god, like, I, I want to help this guy out. Like, he's such a cool creator. What, what, what if he uses my blueprints? And, like, here we are. Like, I, I talked to him on the rag. He's, like, a dear friend of mine now. So it's awesome that that happened. But anyways, here we are. And we have the Bactrian Camel in ah. Mongolia. And yeah, I, I just love these guys. I feel like these are the only unmodded animals I put in so far. But I don't care. <laughs> they're just so, like, I love them. There's, wow, they're the only unmodded, actually, no, there's another one in Peru, but, um, yeah, I just love this exhibit, it's nice, it's dingy, it reminds me of Roger Williams, like, I'm taking a lot of points from Roger Williams just because, like, I'm always there, but yeah, we have the non-stop nomads over here, and we can learn about, like, all the nomadic tribes of Mongolia, and we have a little yurt over here, it has no interior, but I figured you could, um, I figured kids could come in here and they could get stuck on the top of this. So, you know, Tajikam just isn't working out today. I'm just gonna say it. We're just, we're just gonna go raw. <laughs> so here we are, no interior. I made this a while ago, actually. I think about the same time I made those feed dispensers. And, you know, I was like, what if I just bring it back to, like, a new zoo that I'm working on? But yeah. So here we are in Peru. And we actually used Nick's little anaconda over here as a little bit of an applied little decoration. I think it's turned out really good. Ricey, I think, again. Hold on, let's... Custom... Nope. Uh, font? Yeah, Ricey. Blockino font. That is perfect for this little section. Because when you think of South America, you always think of, like, mad colors. And so we have Fruits of the Loom as this little section. And yeah, we have, like, the whole idea that, you know, a lot of your clothing products may come from animals, like this beautiful little llama over here. Or maybe even this little alpaca for some more softer clothes, like socks and something. So yeah, Nick did an amazing job on this. By the way, 
Uh, Mega Gaming Rex made the model and texture for this. If you haven't seen like the mod showcase video, uh, do check those out if like you finish this video and you're in the mood for some more Leaf content. You know, I'm a really cool guy, guys. I promise. But um, yeah, over here we have a little bit of a custom womb that I made. It's nothing too crazy, and I figured like you know maybe on Thursdays you could have like a nice little guy come over here, spindle in some like I don't know clothing or something like that and you can buy it from him right there figure the zoom might have a little bit of something like that for the children just to like learn about all this stuff and now i never actually did put a north american sign in here and that's like something that i'm kind of kicking myself in the ass about but it's fine so here we do have like a little bit more of an american petting zoo farm and these guys are actually quite loud so i'm just going to turn the game on pause and check these guys out so these are the alpine goats and they are adorable i absolutely love them they never spend their time inside though i have no idea why they just like they're allergic to the inside and here's the male alpine goat and he's beautiful this is a british alpine goat because it's black and white you just love them but of course we also have the nubian goat and oh my god like i can't get over how fat of an ass these guys have Oh my god, Nick, I have no idea why you did that, but I love making fun of you for it. It's one of my favorites. They just have so much charm, and I just love all the goats in this game. And it seems like we're getting so much more, and that just makes me so much happy. Like, really happy, you know? Because, like, we really do need a lot more, like, farm animals. I don't care. I know I've already put in, like, 20, but we always need more. And so here we have a little bit of a backstage area. Um, I'm definitely going to convert this little section right here into some stables for these guys because I figured like, you know, this would get damp and moist and soggy and I don't want that. So I'm going to make that later down the line, but I did want to get this video out for you guys just to show off like how far we've come. Here we have this little well. It's part of this blueprint pack over here, uh, if I could find it. I'm not sure who the creator is, but I will definitely find that out for all of you guys soon enough because these are all amazing. And the same thing with these hay bales too. They're absolutely stunning. But yeah, look at all this glorious stuff. Like, look at my whole blueprint graveyard so far. This is insane, the amount of stuff that I'm using. But um, yeah. So let's go back to our friends over here. All right. And I actually did reuse these signs because I was a little bit lazy. But, um, yeah, so we have the Holstein cow. We have a lovely little bull right here. I probably should swap it out for a heifer, but, you know, I don't really care that much. And there is a chicken in here somewhere, if I could find her. I have no idea where she might have went because these guys just, they like to hide. Oh! Oh! I guess there is, oh, I guess there is no chicken anymore, might have, you know, do the coop. So yeah, here we are, um, interior of the barn needs a little bit of work, but you know, I'll get back there soon enough, like all the rafters and stuff, I do need to add some like more cross beams and something like that, just to keep like the structural integrity up. And here we have our little chicken exhibit. We're just going to ignore that sign for now because I want to be monetized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we go. We have a very loud exhibit, actually. So we're just going to pause it. And yeah, I made this little custom coop over here. So, you know, at the end of the day, the chickens can kind of climb up there. And if we actually turn the lights off, I do have like these red heating lamps in there just to keep them warm. I figure we might as well, like, might have some chicks in here. I'm not letting them breed because their babies are huge. But I guess later down the line, I would love to get some more, like, baby animals in here. But yeah, those are chickens. And the guests can walk in here. They could, like, interact with the chickens. And I figure, like, you know, the chickens are free to, like, go around anywhere. Especially, like, I have some in there, some in there. I figure they might as well ex escape and, like, get into the rest of the exhibits. And I hope you guys are looking out for these little, these little guys. I love them. Like, Nick did such an amazing job on those. And, like, I'm not sure if I already had my Flamingo Pack video out by this point. Yeah, by this point. But if it isn't, hey, little sneak peek. All right? <laughs> so, in here, 
we actually do have our little barn owl exhibit and you know i'm just ripping off roger williams at this point so i do have these little guys in here Mealy, you did an amazing job with these owls i absolutely love using them ah and i just like i love the idea of having the barn owl inside the barn i think that's such like a cute idea and here we go a little bit of unreleased content over here here's the american guinea hog and i think nick should be working on these pretty soon where um we're hammering away at the Africa pack, and yeah, we're just we're just a little exhausted with the whole mod thing. But yeah, we also have the large white pig, if I could select it. And yeah, I just love how like I just love having the pigs up here. And you walk right in, and you can hear like the little squeals right here. I do have their sign over here. Please pardon the nausea cam, but yep, make them bacon because hey, that's just life. Let's actually play it right now. And yeah, I figure like once you're done in here, you could get a little bit of ice cream right over here. I forgot who made this. I'm like so bad at this, but you know, it's fine. And we also have like this, we have like the whole farm set up and we also have the table set up in here. And you know, right now there's no room in here, but I would like to later down the line have like a little kitchen in here and maybe have like kids learn about like how to handle food and stuff like that. I feel like that'd be such a cute idea. I don't know. It's just me. Uh, also, like, I'm, this is just ripping off Roger Williams so much at this point, but I even stole their, like, COVID regulation signs. And I figured that'd be, like, a really nice thing you have in here, especially with these. Uh, these are custom made, and if people want them, just, like, shout out in the comments. I will throw them on the workshop. Because, you know, these are, like, it's the kind of, like, clip, clip on, clip off kind of uh, fences, I guess, that they are, and I actually, I actually have them all over here, yep, right here, and yeah, and so future plans, uh, I've already started to expand out here, I have an aviary full of flamingos, haha, I have a little bit of raccoon habitat, and I have something for a blank animal in here, but Yep, this place is really coming together. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.